If you had one shot, two watch, three amigos for free with five of your best friends, would you do it? Or would you just not do it? Let's do it. One, two, one, two, three amigos. Let's go. Welcome back to my show, the name you must already know, you saw the link and you clicked it, yeah this theme song sucks, but do you think I give a crap, I do, my friend Nate is on the way, he's gonna be my guest today, normally we call Saki Mexico He likes to hide his identity when he tells off color jokes He's the man This is a podcast He's the man This is a podcast Let's hear it for the podcast Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the podcast uh, Less than an hour ago that was conceived <laughs> started finished that's honestly i'm way more impressed in terms of just production quality lyrical quality oh yeah yeah you know my i used to work in radio i did this for a living welcome to the show uh 2014's university of minnesota duluth music director to 2015 to 20, 2014 and i was also kumd or not kumd umd employee of the year Oh, man. Student employee of the year, nonetheless. Mm -hmm. Beat out some of those professors. <laughs> uh, hey. Suck it, Goey. <laughs> oh, man. Calling out your favorite professor? Nah. Or did you not like that guy? He was okay. I had him. He was nice. I got like a B in his class, maybe. Yeah, he was nice. He was smart. Yeah. That's always a good thing when teachers are smart. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, he deserved the degree. <laughs> Sometimes I'll be like, hey, I have a question. And they'd be like, well, I don't know the answer to it. I didn't ask yet, dog. <laughs> I had that happen a lot in screenwriting school. In but, terms of just unanswered questions. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just professors not really knowing how to answer a question. So they're like, look it up. Yeah, I don't know. Like, fine. would they answer with another question? <laughs> yeah. Like, or like with an exclamatory, would they just... <laughs> Why are you still here? <laughs> like, no matter what... <laughs> that's, a pretty, uh, that's a pretty good way to answer. Is it uncouth to put a montage within a montage? Like, Why are you still here? <laughs> um, <laughs> sir, if you're not going to order, can you please leave? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just want a large mocha, baby. Coconut milk. Uh, before we get too far into this, I have a little thing that I like to say. Uh, I kind of said it in the intro. Welcome to the show, everybody. That's your boy. It's a whole Sam. Uh, I'm chilling. If I'm not chilling, I'm trying to chill. But I'm chilling tonight with a friend, also in the song. Welcome to the show, Nate. Cheers. How you doing, my man? You're drinking a... Uh, this show is not brought to you by Loon Juice. Ginger Mojito Hard Cider. Hard Cider, Loon Juice, Ginger Mojito. Not an official sponsor. I haven't tried it. Should we maybe try to get them on board? Well, let's uh, let's take a sip real quick. Let's see. Hmm. Ah, that's ah. a drink. <laughs> that is a liquid beverage. Mm -hmm. I have neutral feelings. Yeah, neutral milk feelings. <laughs> <laughs> Emotes, emotels. Uh, Let's move past it. Yeah. It was dumb. They're an okay band, though. How do you feel about Neutral Milk Hotel? They're good. I. <laughs> they're, they're fine. Yeah, I. You know that I. They have one of those songs that I really, really liked for a really long time, and I still hear it sometimes, and it still kind of gets me, gets is, me going. Isn't that one about the Holocaust? Yeah. 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 I'm just like, like yeah. Uh, Holocaust. Yeah. Holocaust. In my car, just. <laughs> Holocaust. Uh, hey, to each their own. Uh, you know, I don't listen to them because of that track. Oh. I'm like, oh, this is so offensive to survivors and, and the victims. We don't want to treat victim. We don't want to malign. The yeah, malign the victims or um, I don't know I disparage heard. them. Yeah, maybe I or, don't know or um, uh, lack lackadaisically make fun of them. Yeah, if we're gonna make fun of them, it should be more calculated. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's like uh, we really need to plan it through and, and figure out the final. Yeah. Uh, 
it's, solution to joking about the Hawks. It's got to be like our scripts for the podcast, right? We go over every detail. We every pour detail. every ounce of time that we can into it. But the people just keep demanding it so frequently that the expediency doesn't match. What What is the, I don't know, the the calculation between an ounce of time and like your standard minute? The, the conversion. I don't rate. know. I never learned the metric system. <laughs> and <laughs> if you're going to talk metric either. to me, you can get out of the country, Sam. <laughs> Come on. Build the wall. <laughs> how many meters high? Speaking of building the wall, how was Mexico? I listened to the last couple of episodes. It seemed like it was a pretty grand old time. A lot of drinking, some wrestling, some some sunlit days, some, some SpongeBob watching, which I'm always a fan of. <laughs> you summed it up. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty much all we did. We watched a lot of dumb movies. We... Soaked up the sun. We soaked up some cervezas. I can't. I can't help but notice your entire face is tattooed. Yeah. With a good yeah. old Viva la Mexico. Fuck America. <laughs> you know me. That's kind of my motto. In the shape of teardrops on both eyes. I have a, a, a set of hands that are praying on my neck, holding a rosary. I don't know if you can see that. Are you part of the? There's a super gang from Mexico on the FBI's super gang list. I yeah, can't like uh, MS13. Is that them? I can't or remember. Yeah, the ones that like PS thirteen public the, school thirteen, <laughs> the from Hey Arnold, the Hey Arnold gang <laughs> yeah. as they're known. Hey Arnold, <laughs> uh, you know people that are like huge fans of football. Like, do you know what I call them? Um, no. What do you call them? Hey Arnold's, because they're because they're football, <laughs> football heads. heads. Yeah, it's dumb. It's dumb. Mexico is great. Mexico is always great. Already planning mm -hmm. a trip back. Uh, well, hey, as uh, as next time you go as Nate Mexico, you should probably give me the heads up. I mean, I you had the heads up this time. Do you want an invite? Uh, yeah. Although right. I guess my name shouldn't be Nate Mexico. It should probably be Nate Mexa Snow. Oh right? yeah, or, or no. uh, Mexico. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Coming in hot. And why would it be Nate Mexa Snow? I took the entire drive to figure that out. To just <laughs> think about that joke. I have to be honest about it. That wasn't improvised. You're everybody. calling it a joke. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, they they could call you Nate Mexis now. Uh, they could just call you Nagasaki. <laughs> Nagasaki. But, I, ideally, they don't call you late to dinner. <laughs> I don't. Again, I don't know what that means. I don't get it. You know, any, any idea? speaking of Naga socks, that's I think my new great idea for a brand of socks. It's my new ma my. You know how people have Maga as their yeah as yeah, their yeah. um. I always say Mega. Their, Oh, is it Mega? No, I, I've heard MAGA a lot. Oh, and okay. It, MAGA is, makes more sense to me because of, like, nothing A-G is, has ever been, been pronounced AG. <laughs> and also, it sounds like Mega. MAGA is much closer to Mega America Great Again mm -hmm. than MAGA. <laughs> Ma that would, be a, Ma that would sound ridiculous. Make America Great Again, America Great Again. Is if, if it was MAGA, MAGA Great. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't even say it. This is Gosh. not a political podcast. It kind of is. It, it kind of is. Uh, I mean, yeah, no, you know what? You're right. It kind <laughs> of is. Actually, that I actually this is my serious question for you. Did you did you get treated with any sort of hostility because you were American because of the whole wall thing? No. No. People, I was gonna say people I, loved me. I that I I mean I remember you saying that the wrestling match people thought you were a celebrity of some some kind or sort. Yeah, they they sung hymnals to me. Hymnals. Uh, yeah, there was like a. A church song that was being sung, and they were like singing it in my direction. People think I look like Jesus. You uh, kind of do, yeah. You got. I, I mean, mean, if Jesus was white, <laughs> right, and like enough. and fat, <laughs> like he's like, hey, I've got all the manna I need. I, I have nothing but bread and wine. This is my life. I'm also white. <laughs> yeah, I'd look like Jesus, but it was it was humbling to say the most. Uh, and then a guy, a couple of people asked to take pictures with me. In other scenarios, because in I'm, like I, churches primarily, it doesn't help with that you wear robes on vacation, man. Like I'm telling hey, you, <laughs> I I might be asking for it, but you know, is does what I wear dictate that I am asking for it? Is that what you're saying, though? Uh, Are you saying because I wear a robe, I'm asking for it to be called Jesus? Um, well, let me be a hundred percent clear before I say anything. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. You're, yeah, you're always unequivocally. Bringing, somehow the, these jokes always come up with you, and it makes a guy wonder. <laughs> yeah, uh, that reminds me of one of the the jokes I thought. Makes recently. me wonder why we don't hang out more. 
<laughs> uh, probably you're probably you don't want to be on that list. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. You yeah. said you thought of a new joke recently. Well, here's it's not. I don't know if it's really a joke. It's more of because you even talked about it. Because I was listening to the podcast you released. Was it just yesterday or two days ago? Ah, uh, yeah. I just yeah, got yeah, it downloaded because yeah. I have the podcast up on my phone, so it just downloads or whatever. And you well, were talking about perverts in it. Check out, check out. I I re-released it with the full episode. Oh no, I listened to the first seventeen minutes, and then I I was like, oh, it's an interesting two-parter. <laughs> and then I listened to the same seventeen minutes again. And I was like, this is kind of <laughs> interesting formatting choice he's doing. I thought you were going kind of surrealist. No, no, just no, like no. a record skipping, but a long chunk. Just something happened with the upload. Uh, cut it off like gotcha. twelve or seventeen minutes in. Oh, gotcha. Um. Yeah, and if I was better at this or if I had an intern... I have an intern, Dave. He just never shows up. Screw you, Dave. Uh, (laughs) I'm supposed to pay him a cake every week. And I gave him a cake one week. And he didn't do anything. And he didn't do anything. He hasn't come back. To be fair, I was an intern once. Sorry, Sorry, to be unfair, fuck Dave. Fuck Dave. (laughs) Hey, whoa. But to be fair... Hey, Dave's my best friend at movie night, bro. Oh, really? Dave's the best friend of movie night. Oh, he's the guy who dropped off that girl for you that one time he's the man yes yeah. sir yeah yeah uh, i know that sounded weirder than it was it's because i'm a fan of the podcast it's because i'm keeping up you're a real uh egghead would you say that's what i call fans of the podcast no <laughs> oh shoot zoinks um i don't know who's your favorite dog that's a detective um Detective Pikachu, is he a dog? <laughs> I think so. I is like, Pikachu a dog? No. Like he's, a he's Pikachu like a, he's, he's like a mouse. Yeah. That was a bad example. Dog detective, dog detective, dog detective. Dog detective, dog detective. That's my favorite, dog detective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you ever saw that show back in the day. McGruff, dog detective. Mm-hmm. The crime uh, dog. Only you can prevent crime fires. <laughs> so yeah. I, off the top of my head, I can think of Sc- Scooby-Doo. Scrappy. Scooby-Doo's good. Scrappy-Doo. Scrappy's a piece of, uh, yeah, well, you agreed, know, that's agreed. harsh. It's harsh. But I don't even know if he solves crimes, POS. to be honest. He kind of, I don't like how he is. He a, is. a puppy of scraps. Uh, In terms of, if he's a, related to Scooby and he's a Great Dane puppy, he's got some genetic problems. He's oh, like yeah. really small in comparison. And he stands up. There's just too many. Some sort of mutt thing happening. Too many odd things. I've, I have emailed freaking... Uh, what's this that like Matthew Lillard so many times about this sure. and I'm like Matthew you gotta give me the deets I was like Scrappy's and had me make any sense in the films and by the fifth season to this letter he, it, like I finally got a signature on it so I just copied that and you might wrote as my well. own fanfic yeah, yeah, um, yeah in the voice of Matthew Lillard I think it'll be public domain within the next I don't know let's just say though when I years fair enough but when I didn't have uh, his answer like you could say I was kind of without a paddle you know <laughs> <laughs> you could say that. Yeah. Or without permission. I was screaming <laughs> with anger. Uh, <laughs> any others? No, I don't know that guy's career at all. He's an SLC punk. That's about as far as I go with him. But do, you might have better luck like reaching out to Freddie Prince Jr. or Sarah who, Michelle Gells. Who is the girl who... Is that the girl who plays Velma? No, the girl who plays Velma is the girl from Grandma's Boy, right? Grandma's boy. She was in a couple episodes of Man- Lisa Cardellini. Is that her yeah, name? Yeah, that Cardellini. sounds right. Lo- yeah. I just saw her unexpectedly in my favorite Oscar nominated movie this year. What was that? Green Book. Let's sure. talk about the Oscars. Oh, okay. Sweet. Green Book. Do we What's have, that uh, one about? Play the play the play, play the cue track. <laughs> so let's talk about the Oscars. Uh, as as is tradition for me, I haven't seen any of the Oscar movies. Mm-hmm. What's, I've seen about your, half of them. What's your top runner for best peck? Best pecks? Yeah. Um, best pecks probably has to go to... Brad Cooper. Um, Brad, yeah, Brad Cooper, potentially. Um, oh, he's eye up there. Yeah. I, I mean, Lady Gaga had s- equally good pecks, I thought. Lady Gaga's got great There's pecs. a really great scene in that film where they, they just do push-ups. That's in a, terms of best push-up scene. That's A Star is Born. Yeah, is A Star is Born. Okay. Yeah, it, yeah. that's a movie. Yeah, that, I heard it was good. Uh, Green Book was great. Hilarious. Is that the one with Viggo Mortensen? Mm-hmm. I like he's that just guy. like, I'm walking here. I'm walking but here. But he says different kinds of stuff. But he has that accent the whole time. He's like Italian, Brooklyn, whatever. Okay, I can get behind that. And then Ooh, my, my Herschel. Loved my, co- my cousin Vinny. Dude, yeah. if you like my cousin Vinny, and this is not just to you, dude, but to all the dudes. Uh, all sorry, the ladies don't see dudes. this film. It's a dude movie. Uh, I think I think dude is a, a non-gender specific 
That's term fair. And I shouldn't I shouldn't have just excluded all the ladies listening cuz you should definitely everyone should see the movie. Yeah. Me and my girlfriend saw we both loved it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Somebody's bragging. <laughs> yeah, we go to movies. You saw it in the theaters? You didn't get like a screener or anything? You're no, not part I, of the academy. No. Nah, I I am only, I only make the cut about halfway. Okay, I suppose. Yeah. I suppose. So what are what are what's the worst one you've seen? That was Oscar nominated? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think I, I think that's the one Oscar movie I saw this year. Yeah. Oh no, Black Panther. Black Panther. Didn't care for it. Why is it nominated? Because it's culturally significant and half the movie's good and the okay. other half is pretty who cares. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen it, won't see it, you know. It's you don't a, need to. It's, it's a superhero movie. I'll see Shazam probably. Because I like that. I like Chuck. That's kind of like the spiritual predecessor of uh Black Panther. Black Panther. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it looks like Tom Hanks is big, but with superpowers. And I love Tom Hanks is big. Never seen it. You've never seen Tom Hanks is big? No, but that's where he's like a detective with a dog. <laughs> no, no, sorry. No. That's is that where he's like a gay attorney? <laughs> no. Okay, Somalian pirates. I get. No. I'll, I'll get this. Um, Sully Sullenberger. <laughs> no, no. Um, I think that one's toys come to Captain life. Captain Phillips. Damn it. Toys come to life. Uh, nope. I got like five more of these in me. Um, hosting SNL. Oh wait, that's just that happened in life. <laughs> uh, God, I don't know if I. Oh, um, stranded on an island. Nope. Stranded in an airport. No. No. Wait, how would I know? I'm asking. <laughs> yeah, Tom Hanks is big. Is uh, a young boy. In New Jersey, goes to a pier, carnival type thing. Okay. W- wishes on a, one of those fortune teller machines. And says, Tom Hanks is the fortune teller. Nope. Tom Hanks hasn't come into the picture yet. Young boy, about th- 12, 13 years old, mm-hmm. wishes to be big. Wakes up the next day. Cut to Tom Hanks in a, in a young With voice. a knife. No, no, in no. his room. No, oh, no, no, okay. Tom it's Hanks, not a murder. Okay. Tom Hanks is the young boy. He's got He's gotten big. Wait, he played the young boy in the beginning? And- no, 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 no. <laughs> so there's a young boy in the beginning. Who's not Tom Hanks. Gotcha. Okay, following. Turns into Tom Hanks. Turns into Tom Hanks. Well, so Tom Hanks might have played the child version of himself, but then the movie would have been like Boyhood. Oh, like 20 years later, they filmed the rest of it (laughs) later. All right, everybody, let's get together, film the first... Wait, first so, seven in the last seven minutes of this movie. So this is a documentary, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This happened to Tom Hanks? Is this, this happened what? to Tom Hanks. Oh, my See, God. See, yes. <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> uh, you've never seen Tom Hanks as big? No. I mean, uh, I didn't even think he was that big. I thought he was like my height. I Karumba. <laughs> yeah, but they shoot him with a low angle, so it creates so the illusion he, he's of he's the height. towering figure. Is it height? <laughs> You know, like if you're wide, you have a lot of width. If you if you have a lot of height, do you have a lot of height? I thought it was a lot of tolth. No, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah I'll go. <laughs> I'll go with. I'll go with height. Height is funnier. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's objective. I it's think objective. Constructing bad jokes is funnier. So, so tolth takes. The Speaking of cake. bad jokes, can I circle back thirty minutes ago? Let's get back to it. My pervert joke. Oh yeah, perverts welcome. It's Email more, me. It's. <laughs> Same. It's more of a it's more of a premise, I guess. Because okay. my whole the whole idea is if there'd be so many more fun things if perverts didn't ruin things. You know what I'm talking about? Absolutely. So, so for example, um, ice cream trucks mm-hmm. ruined by perverts. Um, second one, this is like a big one for me. Roofies. Because imagine. Okay, so this is why a whole premise on this one. Imagine if a roofie you just, is like a a young man who puts yeah who like shingles together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. shingles yeah. Um, no, but the, <laughs> it's if, it's like if, a newsy. if we were at, like at a party and we just had them and be like, you know, what's a pretty funny prank is let's knock this guy out early and let not do anything sure. to him. Yeah, Maybe yeah, drop yeah. penises on his face, but you know what I mean? Something harmless. Or like, say you have a buddy who gets a little amped up after six, seven brew dogs. Yeah. And you're like, you slip a little GHB into his, uh, yeah, and then you just bring him to bed. Like, bevy poo, yeah. My bigger thing was murder mystery parties would actually be fun because that way you somebody like just slips them like the knockout drug, and everyone's oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's cool with this beforehand or whatever. You gotta, yeah, you sign something. Yeah, but imagine if you were at a party and then literally just somebody collapsed and someone screamed murder, and then you all had to solve it. That's way more fun. Um, I one hundred percent agree with you that bad people have ruined that. Mm-hmm. Molesting animals, another thing perverts have ruined. <laughs> Yeah, before I could <laughs> I could do that in peace, but now now it's a big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. put it on the internet. What me and a parakeet and two guinea pigs 
and a gorilla do. Okay, yeah, I was hoping there'd be a bigger animal because while I'm passed out, is no <laughs> one's concerned. <laughs> I just take a roofie, and then I just wake up, and then I'm just nude. Uh, it's really I weird. Mush some banana and whatever hamsters like. I didn't invite them. <laughs> How'd they get in? I don't know. I I was just walking around the zoo. So I think you have bigger problems than just taking GHB. Big er problems starring <laughs> Tom, Tom Hanks. Hanks. No, we should write a sequel to Big called Bigger. Big er. Uh, Tom Hanks is bigger. Oh, how about Big Ah? Big Ah. Big Ah. Takes, yeah. pl- takes place in Boston. And Viggo Mortensen's in it. <laughs> Big Ah. Uh, Big Ah. Uh, maybe we stop saying that word. Big Ah. Big Ah. Why? I don't know. It sounds racist. Oh, I guess. Does it not saying. sound like it has a. Bigger technically. Is closer to the. No, no, no. The I'm, I, it word. doesn't sound like the N word. It just oh. sounds like a bad word. Big ass. Oh, like like you're a bigot or it's like a slur. Like oh, Italian maybe slur. maybe bigot is what I'm hearing. Big which ass. is, I don't want to be called that. Should a bigot. be the trilogy. Big bigger <laughs> bigot. bigot. Yeah. <laughs> which takes a very serious take on like he becomes an old man and he's just. Oh yeah. And then he like has he has like this car and then all these Asians move next to him. This is like my original thought. All these Asian people move into his neighborhood. He's like, get off my long bigot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sorry, and we can get Clint Eastwood to do it. He'd be the perfect guy for that. He's super old. Dude is super old. Yeah. And, you know he's bigot with a car. Is what I want the movie to be about. I, speaking of Oscar movies, and we'll get back to your premise here in a bit. Oh, no, my joke was over. Just perverts have ruined a lot yeah, of Yeah, just perverts ruin stuff. Is and the punchline molesting animals? I would. Is that better than Murder Mystery Party? It probably is. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think maybe you can cut Murder Mystery out of there. Oh, that was the original joke. <laughs> oh, really? Well, I was like testing it, and then I saw I was like, this probably isn't going to work, and then I just threw something yeah. else out. Uh, well, I think, I think three is a good number for lists. Mm-hmm. Uh as per the rule of three. Yeah. And so you had, they ruined... Ice cream trucks. Ice cream trucks. And I didn't explain that at all. I just, they did. They ruined roofies. They ruined roofies and then they ruined molesting animals. Molesting animals. Yeah. So, yeah. No, I think you can... Because they didn't ruin murder mystery parties. <laughs> Hypothetically, I mean, <laughs> no. yeah. No, I mean, keep it in there. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'd love to see it. I'd love to hear it. Sweet. Uh, I'd love to steal it. <laughs> you know? You mind if I'll, I tell I'll, that, Joe? I'll have no way of knowing. No? I've been doing stand-up enough recently. Uh, me either. It's been three weeks. Yeah. I was in Mexico. And you didn't do week, any stand-up in Mexico? I mean, I did what I, I hung out with people, and that was kind of stand-up sometimes. Did you it, say any of your jokes to them? Yeah. yeah oh, yeah, yeah. wait. We didn't even talk about... Well, you had something you wanted to say, but huh? I was going to talk about... I, we I haven't done the podcast since we did stand-up. This Listeners, is true. Listeners, yeah, yeah, yeah. we did it. We did stand-up. I mean, I've been talking about it a lot. Yeah, uh, I, I listened to the one with An- I've, I listened to the one with Andrew, but also just as a heads up, because I think I said this to you guys there, but you two fucking crushed it, and I'm sure you guys did multiple times after. This is no, it's just gotten worse. Oh really? Yeah. I was. You know what the weird thing is? Is that was mine too. Yeah, like my yeah. very first set, insane. Not only insane endorphin rush, insane amounts of laughs. It was the most. It was at Acme, so it was oh, a sure. couple hundred people. Mm-hmm. But surprisingly, well, they're, and they're bad. there to laugh. You know, that's yeah, that's part of the difference, right? Because you you're working a harder room, the terminal where it's smaller. I think so. A lot more people are comics. Um, I think the terminal is more receptive to my to my style of humor, possibly than Acme. Mm-hmm. Um, I think yeah, which is a little bit more no hold no holds bar than yeah, a lot of yeah. other people. I like to. I mean, I like to try. Yeah. You know things. I did, did a whole set about incest. Uh, that was awesome. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Uh, it's funny to me. Apparently, it's not funny to everybody, but... Yeah, mom. Comedies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's like, Sam, don't talk about that. If you don't like it, mom, why don't you spank me? <laughs> <laughs> and dad, why don't you spank me and tell me you're proud of me, <laughs> like you do with all your players? Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep doing it. Um, I'm enjoying it. Yeah. I, I was in a really good rhythm of writing jokes. And I, you know, when I went to Mexico, I... I you took a break. I took a break, and I shouldn't have. No, you know, logically, had, you, sh- you should once in a while. You can't... If you're just on all the time, it might not be as funny all the time. But uh, your, I should have I should have written more down than I did. Let your caterpillar of hilarity turn into the soup before it turns into the butterfly of jokes. No! Because <laughs> I don't get it! Dude, I learned caterpillars turn into soup before they turn into butterflies. Yeah, they kind of, like... Their bodies like gel, they, yeah, they and the up. like organs are still there. What the hell is that, man? 
butterflies are somehow like the most beautiful satanic creation in yeah. existence. So goopy. <laughs> so well, pre butterflies. So goopy. <laughs> uh, would you eat butterfly soup? Um. Eh, no. No. <laughs> You'd have to. There'd have to be some really good incentive for me to. What if, I mean, what if it was just a normal dish? Like, in Hawaii, they have butterfly soup. I don't... I I mean, it would have to be called something that doesn't say butterfly or soup. In sure, it. sure, sure. Like, uh... Because, first of all, who orders soup at a restaurant? Get out of here. Let alone in Hawaii. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah let alone in Hawaii. Oh, the beach is so <laughs> chilly. Oh, you've never heard of this famous cultural butterfly soup? Yeah, at that point, you're just trying to impress everybody. You're like, oh, I'm going to eat poi in the butterfly soup you guys have <laughs> yeah. fun drinking your mai tais that's really <laughs> culturally aware whatever i have sugar from hawaii so go fuck yourself everyone <laughs> uh <laughs> you're from hawaii right no no my mom right. was born there but she okay. grew up in california i have family there I, I knew you weren't from hawaii but you've been to hawaii yeah i lived there for a little okay about okay. like a month and a half. How um, was it? Did you get island fever? Yeah, I definitely did. Pretty hard. Did you recover? Yeah, I saw the Simpsons movie and I was like, yeah, it's not too bad. Never seen that one. Is it good? That's about the yellow family? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the... um, Homus, Homus and Marge? Homus. And Mark. Marge. Marge. Um, Brett. <laughs> Maggie and Liza. Uh, Yeah, that yeah. sounds right. And mm-hmm. what's their dog's name? Ladybird? <laughs> yeah, no, Sa- I think it's Saris Ronan. <laughs> Is that how you say it? I believe it's pronounced. Actually, I think it's sure, sure. Lyndon Bean Johnson's wife is their dog's that's name. That's the name of it. <laughs> I think that's actually, that's what that's from. Here, buddy. Here, Lyndon B. Johnson's wife. Uh, or you think Lady Bird is a spawn of Lyndon B. Johnson's wife? No, that was her nickname back in the Lady day. Lady Bird? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. I yeah. don't know why. I just assumed that... Uh, who who wrote Lady Bird? What's the lady? Greta Gerwig? Yeah, Greta Gerwig. I assume Gerwig. she watched a lot of King of the Hill growing up. Oh, I thought she was just a huge Johnson fan. Hey, oh, because Lady Bird's might, the name of the might, dog. She might be a fan of Big Johnsons. I don't know. Political uh, Johnsons? Ooh. Hey, you said it, not me. Because let's, let's be real here. She's leaning left, if you know what I mean, with her political Johnsons. Well, she's a s- liberal Hollywood elite. Yeah, exactly. You know? Greta. <laughs> You're invited to the podcast to defend yourself. Yeah. See, I just got you a star guest. Please be a part it of it. I'll be, yeah, I'll be on here and you're going to have to be stuck here for an hour and talk about anything. Please come. I love China, Illinois. Yeah. You know? I want to talk about Francis. Ha. And I want to talk about why they whitewashed Pony in China, Illinois. She's like a Mexican chick, but she's played by Greta Gerwig. What? Yeah. yeah. It's, have you seen China, Illinois? No, I have not. Oh, it's this excellent adult swim show uh and she's in it i didn't realize she i mean lady I mean, was funny but i thought she was dramatic it's a cartoon she does a voice gotcha. like she doesn't put on like brown face to do <laughs> gotcha uh, uh, a mexican character yeah mind brain yeah get you um and it's it's just about teachers that work at a like small university oh okay. and like to drink beer and crazy stuff happens to them it's it's very good if you like adventure time You'll probably like China, Illinois as well. I did watch that quite a bit. Back Adventure in the day. Time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I know. I mean, we live together. Oh, right. I saw a good amount of it. I was more of a regular show, bro. That show's way better. It's 100% better. Most people don't agree. Most people are like, idiots. Oh! oh! Everybody's an idiot, dude, except for you and me. Yeah. And other people who've done the podcast and people who listen to the podcast. Yeah, and your roommates are pretty nice. No, they're idiots. <laughs> they don't listen. To, I mean, I guess they, they fall under the category of people who listen to the podcast, um, which I guess makes them not idiots by, I don't yeah. know, comparison. It's always so weird recording, though, because it's like they're here, they're the live audience, they never say a freaking word during our recordings. No, well, you don't want your live audience to talk a whole hey, lot. but Gus, you Gus, shut it. Shh. <laughs> Stop texting. I can hear your thumbs like, tapping on the screen. Shh. Hey, shh. Hey. Hey. Gus. You guys mind if I make some popcorn? I didn't even put no. a voice on it. I just did my voice. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> this is stupid. Uh, 
That was another segment of Sam and Nate doing really good sound effects. Ooh, let me try and guess that one. Hmm. It's water dropping into a tin bucket. No, it's the girl from Hereditary if she was a robot. <laughs> oh, dude, that was Wrong. a good one. Okay, let's see if we can do this one. Hereditary was good. That was good. Yeah. I think your microphone's leaking, dude. Uh, what's that one sound effect you're really good at? Um, uh, the SpongeBob's laugh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you yeah, like anyway. to? Would you, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Dude. everybody's seen SpongeBob. Let's do one you're really bad at. Do Squidward's laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was pretty good. Now, I know that because I've seen SpongeBob recently. Within the last two weeks. It's a classic show. Who's uh, Who's your favorite sponge? Who's your favorite character in the sponge? In the sponge? It's got it. I mean, it's it's always Sponge. Well, SpongeBob or Patrick as usual. But the older you get, the more you relate to Squidward. So I, kinda, I agree. Yeah. Like Squidward, he kind of kills it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He kinda. and he hates SpongeBob, which I also agree. <laughs> and it's like, shut up, dude. <laughs> shut up. So full of positivity in life. It's like, fuck off. Guy. I love it, but I hate it. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. I'm like, I'm, I mean, right. It's you're either some days you're a SpongeBob, some days you're Squidward. That's life. You That's know? very true. Yeah. And sometimes you're a Patrick. All days you're a Patrick. Just it's just like depending. Ideas. Yeah. We're all just dumb, but it's just mood based. What do you feel about Mr. Krabs? Um, eh. Yeah. He's funny. He's very greedy. He's a great character, but I don't like him. Yeah. Who's the, who's the best character in all of TV history? Let's do sitcoms and... Donald Trump and The Apprentice. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a sitcom. That's a... <laughs> Damn it. You're right. Okay. I'll think of one. You first. Dewey from Malcolm in the Middle. Good pick. And hour long drama. Oh, and and you have we have so to you pick have to, both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what's your hour long drama then? I don't know. I don't really watch those. Gotcha. I'm Maybe gonna Connie, go Connie Britton from Nashville, <sighs> or Hayden Panettiere from Nashville. That's hard to follow up. Or Hayden Panettiere from uh, Heroes. Heroes. Save the cheerleaders. Save the bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. Let me let me think about the hour long drama one for a second here. Yeah. I'll well as you think of it, I will slowly start talking to reveal my pick for the twenty minute to half hour best character in a comedy program. And yep. the nominees are Rigby from Regular Show. That's it. I don't know. That's uh, it. That's I was, the I was nominee? Too, like because I thought of it. Does he win the prize? Then? Also, yeah. also, let's be clear. That show is not twenty minutes long. Yeah, it's like episodes 12, are like twelve minutes. 12. <laughs> That's why I like it. I'm I have a short attention span more nowadays. I would like to see more shows. Cut it down. I mean, don't cut the the twenty two minute episodes down, but yeah, cut the hours. Yeah, make make NCIS make no, every yeah. episode a four parter. No, it's all about hooking you in, man. That's uh, I. You know, my least favorite uh, trend is is the is silly like bands. The, silly bands aren't great, but I was gonna say universe building. That's like my least favorite trend of all time. Yeah. Yeah. Stupid. Like the whole Harry Potter. Let's add two uh, two extra movies that no one cares about in a play a fan wrote or freaking The Hobbit. The Hobbit was get insanely it. Star over, Wars. Yeah, Star Wars. Just like Star Wars should have just been dead in the water after the first three. Uh, all of Kevin Smith's movies. Build a build a bridge, Kevin. You know. Yeah, like start working on your trusses. <laughs> yeah. God. <laughs> start contributing. I need to cross this river. Um. No, I I agree. I like a, a built universe and some stuff, but it, it's, it's I, a little much. The movies are too long as is. Let's nah. stop making eight of the same movie. Yeah. You know. Uh. Like this winter, there were two do- two movies, two children's movies about dogs. Yeah, there was the talking, like, or the one the dog leaves. And, like, tries to come home, mm-hmm. and then the other one that, and like... And doesn't, the mouth doesn't even move when she talks. I mean, I didn't so, see them. I'm not a lunatic. I mean, I saw the, tra- you don't, you just need to see the trailer. I was upset. I wanted it to be Homeward Bound. Right. And it wasn't. Yeah. Did, w- you, did you see it, though? I wish. <laughs> we'll just watch Homeward Bound instead. Yeah, I just watched that in uh, Homeward Bound 2 in San Francisco. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Homeward Bay? 
Homeward Bay. Homeward I don't Bay area. Uh, Oakland. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? San Francisco is a cool place. Microclimates, man. That's what they say. I wish I would have brought an umbrella. Here tonight? Yeah, it's the leaky the leaky mics. <laughs> oh, oh, it's trying to kiss me. <laughs> the drops. Uh Yeah, I don't know. Uh life's been good for you? Yeah. S- still working at that same job? What job? Is it the one you, you do? Shh. Yeah, okay. But yeah, yeah, I'm still working there. You don't want to give the audience just a little hint. People have been writing in, they're like, yo, you got to have Nate back on. You got to have Naga Sock back on. Mm-hmm. He's got to explain Noggin Socks, which he hasn't <laughs> explained yet. Uh, <laughs> and they're always saying this. People are always saying explain this. Explain Naga say, Socks? Yeah, they say, Sam, have, Na- have Naga Socky explain that product he. Well, the Naga Socks are just, that's just going to be my company name. It's Nate's America's Greatest Attire. S- socks. <laughs> socks socks okay dash socks and okay. it's only socks well i'm gonna start a rival company called nagasaki's noggin socks and it's gonna be a hat company oh really interesting i'm gonna start a rival to your rival company called You're noggin right with o's <laughs> sockies <laughs> uh noggin sock shot socks and those are just going to be shot glasses covered in <laughs> socks for my own brand that are meant for socky eggnog combinations Oh, okay. Yeah. Have you ever had sake and eggnog? No, I've had both, never together. You're missing out. Have you? Because you know when I'm having a cream-based <laughs> thick beverage, I'm like, this could use some rice wine. <laughs> yeah. <You know? laughs> like a, a, a sake bomb, but with mm-hmm. eggnog. And then, and then you take the, the thing of sake and you're eggnog like, a sake here bomb. comes fat boy. <laughs> <laughs> Because I think that's that was just a, what I say when I walk into any room. Or, ever. Is it, or is it the? I was like, is it Enola Gay? I don't know. I was gonna make like a Nagasaki bomb reference, but that's probably offensive. And it'd be over my head because I'm culturally uh, dumb. Am I allowed to make jokes about uh, the Japanese nukes? I think so. You're part Japanese, right? But only like the bottom half. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're allowed to make jokes about everything. I think there's one thing I tend not to joke about, and you you tend to joke about. What's that? Uh, I mean, it's not something you like to joke about, but you definitely just go there with jokes. Can you write it down on like a piece of paper? Uh, assault oh. of different kinds. Uh, I'm I'm okay joking about it happening to me, uh, but I think I belittle people's. Uh, when did I joke about it? In every episode you've been on. That's well, okay. Okay. You generally ask me fir- to cut it out. The first one was the duck rapist, right? And that was I. I and I actually felt I do feel bad every single time. As you remember, as you should. I don't remember what the second one was. I don't either. That's because they were such killer jokes. <laughs> um, I I, th- I think the second time you brought it up, kind of tongue in cheek. Oh really? In referencing the first time. And now I'm bringing it up a third time in referencing to the first. I mean, I brought it up, and I think we had a little like. There was a joke right off the top that was a little. Oh. Uh, it had that vibe to it, but I, I created that joke to set you up. Oh, gotcha. I don't remember what it was, but. Uh, that being said, everything should be joked about all the time. Yeah, but maybe not that. Just so, just something I avoid. It's like probably a good call. It's smarter. I don't think even even uh, right in in the in the company we laugh, and our friends might laugh, and maybe everybody in the world would laugh at those jokes, but also because I've been thinking about this more lately, just about jokes in general, because I've been watching a lot of stand up, uh, even the most well crafted comics, it's not even like there's there's never anybody who ends a set on that. You know what I'm talking about? No, like it's yeah, never yeah. it's never their known joke. It's never the most memorable joke. Um, I do like I'm a hundred percent. Everyone should be able to joke about anything, and I always appreciate when you let us on and we can just joke about whatever. Oh um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I and I always feel bad because it's like I never want to belittle people on assault or whatever because it's an awful thing. But also, that's not the point of comedy. Yeah, you know, like we, you and I, never want to do that. Yeah, unless it's for satire's sake. Mm-hmm. In which case, I think we're trying to belittle the the bad part of whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, I I think that comedy is a powerful tool that we can use for good. You know, you know what I would wait for. 
is the the first female comic to do a good assault joke. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, Cause it's the yeah. whole, it's the whole like there is that whole thing of a person who's either experienced it or has like a the the minor or the the disenfranchised voice probably has the better take. Yeah, yeah, like uh, I don't know, Aziz Ansari and Louis C.K. Their their jokes are you know probably going to be better because they've experienced those types of things. <laughs> uh, Did you listen to his set by the way? No, I don't know if I ever asked. No, no, I I got burnt out on Louis like six six years ago. His the last special he did before all that shit came out. I'm like, well, I saw that live actually before it came out on Netflix. I think oh. it was just called 2016. Sure. Um, did you go? To, was, did you go to that secret show he did at Acme? Nope. Went to the way too expensive show he did at the arena. I didn't go to either. So I, it was, it's I, I would have liked to. It's because you're an ally, <laughs> and I'm the one who makes the assault jokes. I like. No, I'm not an ally for anybody. I I think everybody's dumb, and you know. <laughs> Uh, I just wanted to like shit on everybody, but I'm trying to be a better person. I'm trying to, you know, yeah, not do that as much. I'm trying to hear people's issues. Uh, it's probably, yeah, it's a nice thing to do, I guess. <laughs> but <laughs> I sounded just so just yeah, like somebody uh, who cares. <laughs> yeah, that's the way to do it. You know. uh, not just that, beating that, down. That being said. Yeah, I don't understand gender neutrality, you know, or uh, non-binarianisms. Non-binary is, you know, you know what the craziest thing to me is that that I've understood now that states are like allowing the crazy non -crazies. quantum physics. Quantum physics. That's the craziest Quarks. thing to me. The craziest thing about that I never thought about is just um, just how expensive it is to an extent. I don't mean, well, I'm just talking about like the bureaucracy of it because now it's like all these different forms. And then different systems have to change, be changed to accept non-binary, which is like not the biggest deal. But when California said, "Hey, we, we're going to allow this on our birth certificates and licenses," they came out with a three-year-long plan to update everything uh, to allow for it because it's there's and it, hundreds it's, of people in California. Yeah, at least, and it's costing, I think, millions of dollars for them to do, which is crazy. Just to add like a third option, you know, <laughs> you never would have expected it. I wouldn't have, and I never would have expected this would come up in our daily lives that people didn't feel like they were boys or girls. Yeah, it's a weird thing. When it, like when not it's, a bad thing, it's a weird thing. When it started happening, like I stand with you, homies. Like I, mm -hmm. you know, I I I have trouble fitting in sometimes. <laughs> I I get it, <laughs> right? Uh, but. I, I'm messing up my mic right now. I keep putting my arm on it. Yeah, put your elbow on the cool. table. Just gotta lean right. when you when you talk. Armchair talk, real talk. But it, it seems like, and this is gonna sound pretty, maybe phobic of some sort. Yeah. But it seems like non-binary, gender, queer, uh, fluid, gender is a spectrum, mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah. Uh, feels like a big old trend to me. Really, you think so? I mean, I feel like uh, a lot of people finally have a term for how they've felt their whole life. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of them are just high schoolers. Oh, yeah. Feel, just... feel a little weird and like, it's cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Uh, I, I'm curious as to, in 20 years, how many people that said they were non-binary when they were 15 are going to still be non-binary. Mm -hmm. Like, if this is a change that, like, we're going to see forever, and we're going to see the effects of it, and, like, it's going to become the new normal, like like gay marriage has and, and all these other <laughs> sins. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, no, I'm, I'm genuinely curious, because maybe we saw some sort of civil rights revolution happen, about, or we're seeing it currently. If if this is a civil rights revolution, and this is a dig at this at this like at a revolution, it feels oh, man. does not feel as impactful. <laughs> no offense to anything of that. I'm just saying like I mean they're not we're fighting for rights. I suppose yeah. Well, it's, my yeah, because it's because the genders exist already. Yeah. So that's yeah. So it's not. I mean, I guess like all races exist too, but the rights for genders, quote unquote, quote unquote, exist right because there's the whole women. Um, 
the society's not built around women. The society is built to not pay women as well. There is there is a um, I read an interesting article about a University of Chicago professor who I think just a uh, five six years ago changed swap genders from being a male to a female and definitely lost money. That's weird. Yeah, in like in terms of how they got paid, it was pretty. It was actually pretty interesting because yeah, yeah, yeah. right, you know, I didn't realize that. Um, well, like my you know, mom gets paid a lot less than my dad does. But she for the same a, job, she's also a football coach. She, she's also uh, the head football coach of South Dakota State University. <laughs> I was just like, she coaches the Steelers, which is weird. <laughs> but, I mean, that team sucks. Yeah, they practice in South Dakota. <laughs> or should I say the Rams? Oh, man. Ooh. We're like the Rips. Rest in peace. <laughs> hey, they're Super Bowl dreams. Did you watch the Super Bowl? Hell no. It was super lame. You didn't miss out? Yeah, super boring. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you boil down to the... If you and, and welcome to the second episode of Black History Month, everybody. If you boil down civil rights, uh, it it was a fight f- to use the same bathrooms, right? It, it's so same. much same schools, same bathrooms. Before, I mean, this was even beforehand, but voting was a huge. I, that wasn't part of the civil rights movement itself, but just for the journey to get to the civil rights movement, yeah. right? Which. Well, I don't think let anybody. Me, let me stop you there before the bit loses <laughs> everything. Yeah. Okay. When you boil down the the non-binary genders of a spectrum, uh, and that begs the question: Are are all genders on the spectrum like people? Anyway, what where did that that fight for that right or that uh, these it all come from? For not ha- they they don't have bathrooms technically. They don't have bathrooms. Well, they have but the it, it unisex came from bathroom. the like the trans people wanting to use but bathrooms. The, <laughs> you know what my my point is though. Here's the biggest point: bathrooms should just be single rooms with locks anyway. Yes, agreed. Yeah, we shouldn't public bath. I've had this issue since high school. Public bathrooms are like my least favorite thing. I've been, I've had some awful poop stories in so many public bathrooms. Not just my own, other people's. Right? Because you're when you're in the room, you're experiencing everybody's uh, moments. You are. Yeah. And, and it's, it's the one place in the world where that's acceptable. Right. And it, it shouldn't, shouldn't be. be. It shouldn't be because we're, we're better than this. Yeah, 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 If we're, right, anytime there's a bathroom where, I mean, I understand it's probably not, you know, uh, cost effective or um, affordable or technically yeah. safe. Um, well, you could but, put five single, like, urinal toilet stalls, mm-hmm. like, rooms in the space. You could probably put. 20 urinals i'm already loving this idea you definitely and you definitely should right they should be five separate doors into five separate rooms yeah with i get, i mean keep the glory hole maybe but what's <laughs> i don't know yo, who's who's using the glory hole if it's not a public bathroom uh you need like <laughs> is it a glory hole no connected one. to the outside <laughs> yeah. you're like man i hope somebody sticks their dick in this instead of watching me poop <laughs> i hope people watch me poop I have you ever like recorded a video of your face while pooping? No. It's very hard to see what you actually look like because you know you're being recorded. I would love to see what my face looks like when I'm taking like a normal poop. I probably just, I would say how it is right. Now. Wait, Sam, what's coming out of your pants? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> And it came to this after your oh. farting around episode, after you shat all over fart jokes. It always, I don't, I will not shit on a fart joke. I will shit on the idea of someone thinking, assaulting my taste buds and my <laughs> oh, sense so of smell. Sexual assault no, 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 no. God damn it. I'll never get <laughs> over it. Yeah. Never. Well, that's what they say about traumatic things like that. Damn it. That was um, good. <laughs> I don't remember what we were talking about. And that's what the podcast should be called about. Should be, should be called. Uh, I think fart jokes are funny. I have a buddy who, does, you know, he's got like all the farts. Uh, like he does different sounds. The sound effects, got, yeah. Yeah, like there's the question mark. It's, you know, there's the juicer. It's like. I don't know all of them. It's funny mm-hmm. enough, you know. Uh, but when somebody says, hey, I got a secret to tell you. And they, they just fart. Find a bridge. <laughs> write a note. Get those trusses in. Say goodbye. And jump. Because it's not <laughs> funny. 
<laughs> don't fart in the same room I'm in unless it's an accident. Hilarious. Accidental farts. Like I did a fart in like seventh grade mm -hmm. while doing like sit ups in gym around everybody. That's pretty good. Hilarious. And I was so ashamed. I was like, oh, this is all red. I also, I also shit myself in like <laughs> eighth grade gym running sprints trying to like let out a fart. That, that's. That's a different tale for right now. <laughs> yeah, pooping your pants is sure, surely a different tale. Uh, it's a bad tale made of poop. I pooped my pants walking home from school once. Did you have to poop really bad or you just wanted to feel the sensation? I had to poop really bad. Well, I didn't poop my pants, but I like I went to the woods and take a poop. And I was sure. like a block away from my house. And so I like I finished. I got home. I don't know if anyone smelled anything. I didn't say anything. No one said anything. I went straight to my room. And I immediately just... Threw away the underpants, showered. Wait, you went to the woods and shit yourself? No, I like, you like I, I norm. No, I t I pulled the pants down. Okay. I just mean like I was just like I like I'm getting rid of all evidence, all memory. Sure, sure, sure. Like when and I burned it I'm... until this moment, and now I'm reliving it. Hey man, I uh, that's fine. I think on an episode I told a story about how I pooped myself to like quit a job authentically. Oh dang. Uh, Way to keep the sincerity, dude. Quit, quit the job. Went home, saw my mom was still home. Didn't want to tell her, like that I just up and quit. So I was like, I, I pooped myself getting into the the truck. Oh. I was working on a horse farm. Oh dang! And, then, and they fired you for pooping yourself. No, I didn't poop myself. I just quit willy nilly. No, I, but like she believed that they fired you for pooping yourself. No, I told her I quit because I was embarrassed. Oh, gotcha. Poop myself on the way, like when I saw her car was at home, saw I would be authentic. <laughs> you know how hard it is to purposely poop your pants, let alone while sitting in a Buick Park Avenue, like three blocks from home? It's very hard. Why did I feel the need to authenticate it? <laughs> would she look and like pull my underwear open and be like, oh, you really did? No. It was, no. It was dumb. Well, I mean, your mom's a, pretty much a stickler for <laughs> <laughs> poop-based excuses. I would know. No, it it uh, not a proud moment in my life. Yeah, it was. I was working my first pizza job that summer. I was working like thirty hours a week. Didn't need to be working another thirty at a horse barn. Yeah, I mean, horses are a very inefficient way to deliver pizzas. I hate horses, dude. What? I would wipe the <laughs> my butt first and then i would wipe the all horses off the face of the earth dang of They're, all animals that's the one you get rid of yeah. choose to uh mosquitoes you you lucked out old sam's choosing who's getting extinct today i'm all about flies man get those flies out of here yeah. they don't live long they're they're pests they horses are pests. aren't Do, horses aren't pests like, horses just exist you can argue for spiders yeah can you they, argue for flies no, food for the spiders, ecosystem. I suppose, but geoengineering, blah blah blah. Spider. What? Okay, so you can eliminate. We got to wrap this up. We're we're closing in on the the end of the the, the time. time. Yeah. You can eliminate one thing from the world: food, uh, race, animal. Uh, type of furniture. Wait, race isn't the concept of race, or you want me to elip You want me to commit genocide on the podcast? I'm saying, I'm saying, this is a <laughs> hypothetical scenario. We were talking about neutral milk hotel earlier. They chose. <laughs> oh yikes! All right, we're diving back into it. All right, everybody, this is Nate. <laughs> Wait, so let's not Nate actually Hitler. let's not actually end on that one. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. One thing. What if we did just end on it? And the last thing I said was, "This was Nate boo -doo, Hitler." Boo -doo, boo -doo. <laughs> um. So probably not race unless it's like the Kentucky Derby. I'd eliminate the concept of race. I think if you eliminate the the triple crown, you more or less eliminate horses. I think that some villages still use them. All right. Well, if if you use it for a reason, you can still use it. <laughs> Let's just give them zebras. You know. You know what I would eliminate? I think if I had to really think about it, I would eliminate cars. Yeah? Yeah, which is, I kind of, I guess it's almost in a sense pro horses for that reason. But with the way people have been driving lately and the fact that I drive so much, I think it's fine. I don't think it's fun. I don't get it. There's too many people who do it. These, we're driving really fast aluminum cans. You order pizza to be delivered? I'm sorry, I'm going to have to learn how to make a pizza. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm into it. Yeah, or yeah. or buy horse. You used to do that, so for oh, you sh- for your shat on the saddle. Uh, well, this was a fun segment <laughs> of eliminate. Oh, uh, oh my gosh, let's. You want to do? Keep, you let's, let's do, do one more five, segment. Let's do ten more. Okay, so if you had to eliminate any drink, okay. what would it be? If I would eliminate any any, drink? any sort of beverage, what would you eliminate? Ooh, baby, red cola. Have you ever had the the this no. soda? I think it's called Big Red. Never heard. I've heard of the gum. The gum, fantastic. The beverage, the worst. They make a beverage uh, out of that. It's like a no. It's it's called Big Red. It's like a southern drink, I think. Oof. Um, the, I'm I'm a real beverage head. Like I I love beverages. Mm-hmm. Might get rid of Lacroix. I'd say Vermouth. Vermouth, yeah. I don't get it. I just yeah, never yeah. did. Jagermeister. Oh god. Pretty yeah. much any liqueur. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, Serrano. Um. All right. Well, if you could eliminate one article of clothing, what would it be? Why don't we find out? Naked in the studio. Uh, Nate kid. <laughs> uh, you got any other el- elimination? Mm, this segment. <laughs> all right. So I have one more segment I'd like to do. Is it fan mail? No, it's called impersonate. <sighs> It. You That's have any impersonations you'd like to do? Um, how about I try some and then you guess who I'm doing? Okay, sure. Okay. Um, all right. So the thing is, is that Hillary Clinton. Damn it. Okay. Well, let me try. That, would you say I was right or wrong? I'd say <laughs> I'd say you were China. China. <laughs> okay. Maybe that's that's clearly Donald Trump Jr. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eric. Mm-hmm. Eric Trump. <laughs> um, man, I. You know what the sad thing is? Is I was working on my impersonations recently. Okay, okay, that's rude. Sorry, right. I had to. I had you to know, clear. good impersonation of a rude boy. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, the rude boys was a ska band, right? Uh, yes. Or rude boys were second impersonation. You got it. All right. <laughs> Because because of threes, yep. One more. The final the final one that you'll never be able to guess offhand. It's my money and I want it now. Oh man, it's not JG Wentworth, but it's someone in that commercial. I just don't know. Is it the person yelling out the window? Close enough. Is and it? actually, I think it actually is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> the person yelling out the window. I yeah. mean, you know, there's different varieties of that commercial, but. Call call eight seven seven cash now, right? Mm-hmm. I have a structured annuity and I need cash now. J G Wentworth, eight seven seven cash now. This episode has not been brought to you by J G Wentworth. I want to thank good buddy Nate for coming all the way out in this blizzard. Thanks for having me as always. It's a pleasure. Let's do stand up some more. A privilege. What do you say? It's a right, you know. Freedom of speech and whatnot. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just uh, uh, let's talk about stuff. Let's make people laugh about stuff. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Sorry for for getting r- relatively deep and philosophical and talking about politics earlier. I mean, you it's know. a political show. It's what they want. It is. We're it just is. giving them what but, they want. You know, we could, I, we, we could. I mean, I don't know. I read fan mail earlier today, as you instructed, and we haven't talked about deviled eggs that much yet. I think a lot of people are assuming cooking. Like a cooking show. Yeah, <laughs> people have told me that a lot. They're like, "Hey, the name of your podcast is really dumb." Yeah, something else. What I are you talking cl- about? Something else to clarify. Sam doesn't look like that egg. I don't know mm-hmm. where people get that from. It's like it's not an egg with a pitchfork doing this podcast. No, 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 no. In like an old '90s like Commodore or '80s Commodore computer. Although like, style. <laughs> I have a new logo that I'm like pretty stoked to. Really. Ooh. Uh, yeah. So once I get rid of all the stickers that have the old logo on it, I'll. Give me some more. I've got a trip to Japan. I'll throw them up on some random places. Hell's bells, dude. What, when are you going to Japan and what for? Um, In a, about a month and a couple of weeks for no reason. Just for vacation. Going with family or no, just, uh, lady Lauren, by Lauren yourself? I, yeah. Lauren and I. Big trip. Should Big be trip, fun. Small town. All right. Here's Japan's pretty small town. <laughs> Japan. If I've heard anything about Japan, it's definitely a small town. Yeah. And if not, it has a small town vibe. <laughs> they fool for sure. Think locally and act it. Hopefully. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for listening. Uh, drive safe. Get home safe. Take care of your loved Stay ones. Stay in and, trouble. Uh, 
you know, just, just stay in trouble. <laughs> Big trouble and little stay in. In little Japan. All right. It's been a privilege. Peace. Bye. Bye.